In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sprinting GUI in Roblox Studio. Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a sprinting GUI in Roblox Studio. So, let's get into it. So, the first thing you want to do is go to start a GUI and insert a local script. And then you want to delete what's in here. And you want to paste the first link in the description below. It will be a link to paste bin. You just copy that, um, copy that script and paste it in here like that. Okay. And then basically that's all you want to do for this script. Although you can change this right here, this 25 here to whatever you want. So this is going to be the sprinting walk speed. So when they hold down shift or click the GUI, this is what the walk speed is going to be. You can make it 100 if you want it to be really fast, but I'm going to keep mine at 25 because it's a good sprinting speed. So the next thing you want to do is insert a screen GUI inside the local script and then a frame inside of that. Now at the moment you can't resize or move the frame because it's inside a local script. So you want to take this and you want to put it inside start a GUI. Now you should be able to move it around. So I'm going to quickly position mine and make it look all nice. Actually, we don't really have to do much. All we've got to do is kind of resize it and put it in a good place. So I'm going to leave mine like that. And then uh, you want to insert a text button into the frame. Text button. And then you want to resize that to be the same size as the frame. And then another text button. And resize that to be the same size as the frame. Okay, so that's all you've got to do for, that's all you've got to insert. Now you move this back into the local script and you can make this text bucket, oh, move it out actually because you want to make the text button look quite nice. So I'm going to make these look all fancy and good and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so once you've made them look all nice, you want to name these text button. You want to name the top one to run and the bottom one to walk. And you want to put the text inside them. Make the run one say run and the walk one say walk. So once you've done that, inside the, inside the run, you can insert another local script. And you can paste from the second paste bin link in the description paste that script into here. Okay, so I know you might be thinking, well, it's quite a big script, but it, it really doesn't do much. The only variables that you might want to change is this walk speed, the 25 over here. That's what I talked about earlier in this script. So you can change that to whatever walk speed you want. Otherwise, don't touch anything because it might mess it up, unless you know what you're doing and you want to improve it or something. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for the um, GUI. So if you move it back into the local script, and then I guess let's test it out. Okay, so I'm in the game, and then basically what this does is when you hold shift, sprint, it changes the walk speed to 25, and when you let go, back to 16. And it actually, um, it changes this text as well. I'm going to fix that because there's a little bug there. Hold on a second. Also, make sure the walk at the start, the visibility, is unchecked. Okay, so that's quite important. So make sure the visibility for the walk text button is unchecked. Now when we go into a game and we hold shift, it should work like that. And then obviously it's mobile user friendly. So obviously if you're on a phone then you can't have the shift option so you can actually tap it or click it and it will change the walk speed like that thank you very much for watching and have a great day like subscribe do all that stuff and goodbye